long ago when nothing but mere matter existed in this world and countless masses of some unknown things appeared disappeared and appeared again one of them eventually survived we now call it life while well, life survived was because in its tendency to replicate and thus this becomes a purpose of life to multiply and in this struggle for existence the superior one survives while the inferior dies speaking of inferiority we humans are the dominant species on the planet earth hashtag the superior one but were we always like this no analyzing the evidence of evolution it was like the universe creating a life form that can appreciate the complexity of the earth as well as the complexity of whole universe maybe universe wanted to feel conscious but is this sufficient for species to reach such a goal a survival and competing against other species was enough the species that originated as prey that survived ate on bone marrow to the species that can eradicate any life form in seconds great challenges given by nature have been overcome by us from scavenging food to produce sufficient food for a lifetime we have figured out how a person can be a prey but hundreds of prey become predators that killing our own species for food and female causes this inferior community a great loss and thus we introduce monogamy and brotherhood one whose curiosity has never died a species that is skeptical and willing to change for learning and exploration and in same we competed nature well even with such neural complexity we couldn't abolish individual competition among us i understand that competition is must humanity must grow but at what cost you can't build humanity by killing it cannibalism has been stopped and considered as a threat but when hominids but what about exploitation exploitation of the community gender position people one thinks as inferior why it's not a threat yesterday i asked a woman if she has reported her husband for his violent tendencies and actions she exclaimed and whispered shut up don't say it loud see today he bought me this pink sari he likes me sometimes they show their frustration as you will understand this once you get married an act of violence and assault is felony this act is pure act of numbness which in some cases can bring satisfaction and if it does satisfy you then people around you are living in misery and hence you are nothing but a criminal and an abuser that woman was a prime example of how inferiority promotes inferiority and how people with morals and integrities are always inferior to the people with fewer morals and integrity i visit this store it has more than 14 employees i guess it is quite often to hear offensive words from the owner to their employees and competitors competitors think he is the most successful among them but what happens if one day one of your employee forget their integrity and strike it in return no that won't happen beggars can't be choosers he replied it bothers me that much to rely on why you have the same same capacity and potential then why and once i think they realize they will start a war fighting for equality with the superior ones it will be a great loss the voyage of being a prey to an unbeatable legendary animal humanity remembers the terror that was ruled by them war is not the villain that destroys the world but discrimination and differences that we have created and more this difference 
grow, more people start competing. In near future, we must keep ourselves ready for a stiff competition where basic needs are going to be scarce. I stand by humanity because I don't want to live like a king nor being enslaved. I want to live as a human, human, the dominant species of the planet, of this planet, Earth. In the end, I want to answer some frequent questions. Many of you asked if the stories I share belongs to me or these stories are the reason I am a wretched negative person. Well, my friends and family and people who have met me even once know how strangely chatty and joyful I am. I mean, most of the time. And stories that I shared belongs to you and every human in the society. Sometimes you are the narrator, sometimes the victim or maybe the culprit or an observer or you can be all of them. Thank you for listening me. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and comment your valuable opinion.